going to look at flow rates that are adjusted. So the order reads 1,000 milliliters, dextrose 5% water, IV over eight hours. The drop factor is 10 drops per minute. After five hours, 700 milliliters remain to be infused. How must the flow rate be adjusted in drops per minute so that the infusion will finish on time? If the facility has a policy that flow rate adjustments must not exceed 25% of the original rate, is the required adjustment within the guidelines. So when we see that word adjusted, we have to find an original rate of flow and an adjusted rate of flow so that we can answer this question. If I look for what's going on originally, the order reads 1,000 milliliters over eight hours. So I know that we have an original flow rate of 1,000 milliliters over eight hours. But if we look, they're asking us to figure out how things are adjusted in drops per minute. So we need to be able to convert that milliliters per hour to drops per minute. So I know that I'm starting with volume over time. I want to end with volume over time. So I'll start my dimensional analysis with that flow rate. Now I want to get from milliliters to drops. They tell me that the drop factor is 10 drops per milliliter. So I know I want my one milliliter in the denominator, so they'll cancel out, and 10 drops. But I want it in drops per minute. I know in one hour, there's 60 minutes. So if I do this, when I multiply straight across, I have 10,000 over 480. When I divide, that gives me 20.83 repeating drops per minute. And when I round to the nearest whole number, because flow rates are always rounded to the nearest whole, I find that the original flow rate is 21 drops per minute. Now I'm going to go through a very similar calculation for the adjusted rate. So if we look, they said after five hours. So if we think about that, we started out with an eight hour infusion, five hours have already passed, so that means that there's three hours left in the infusion. 700 milliliters remain to be infused. So the flow rate we now have is 700 milliliters over three hours. Nothing else has changed. So I'm gonna go through that same process where I get rid of the milliliters using the drop factor. And I get rid of the hours because I know there's 60 minutes in an hour. I'll double check, my hours cancel out, my milliliters cancel out, I do have drops per minute. When I multiply straight across, that gives me 7,000 over 180. When I divide, that gives me 38.8 repeating drops per minute. Same thing, I need to round to the nearest whole number, so that's gonna give me 39 drops per minute. So I can now calculate what needs to change, right? So if I'm thinking about the adjustment itself, that's gonna be the 39 drops per minute minus the 21 drops per minute, which tells me that we're changing this flow rate by 18 drops per minute, and it's going to be an increase. Now we need to figure out what is the percent increase or decrease. So remember, I'm going to take that bigger number, subtract the smaller number to figure out the change, and I divide by the original. So that original was 21. That's going to give me my answer in decimal form, so I need to multiply by 100%. That gives me 18 over 21 times 100%, which is really 0.8. Five seven one four two eight five seven one keeps going on my calculator times one hundred percent, which tells me that I have eighty five point and then that long decimal again. Typically, they ask us to round to the nearest tenth of a percent, so that one tells me to leave that seven alone. So I'll say it's about an eighty five point seven percent increase. If we look back up, 
They're telling us that the facility has a policy that flow rate adjustments must not exceed 25% of the original rate. Remember that exceed means be higher than. So this is way too high. 85.7% is much higher than 25%. So we will say no, it is not within guidelines. The next example also deals with adjustments. So we have an order for normal saline, 800 milliliters, infused at six hours stat. When the nurse checks the infusion three hours later, 330 milliliters are LIB, left in bag. Recalculate the pump settings so the infusion will finish in two hours. If the facility protocols indicate that flow rate adjustments must not exceed 20% of the original rate, may the adjustment be made. So if we think about the original, we have 800 milliliters in six hours. Now, because they don't specifically tell us we're looking at drops per minute or milliliters per hour, I'm just gonna leave it in milliliters per hour so I have less calculations to do. So that's gonna give me 133.3 repeating milliliters per hour. I know I always rounded the nearest hole for flow rates, so that's really 133 milliliters per hour. Now if I deal with that adjusted rate, they say that three hours later, so we started with six hours, three hours have passed, so that means there's three hours left in the infusion. And there's also 330 milliliters. So I'm gonna do my volume over the time remaining. And that will give me 110 milliliters per hour. I do not need to round. Now I need to find that rate. So I do the large number minus the small number, and I divide by the original. That's gonna give me an answer in decimal form, so I need to multiply by 100%. When I do the subtraction, I end up with 23 over 133. When I do that division, it gives me 0.172932. And then I multiply by 100% to get this in percent form. That gives me 17.293233308%. I'm going to round my percent to the nearest tenth, which tells me that I have a 17.3% decrease. I know it's a decrease because the flow rate is going down. If I look, it cannot exceed 20%. 17.3% is below that 20%, so we can say yes, the adjustment can be made.